I'm T. Leon Ridgeway at Ridgeway Funeral Home, and you're watching Good Day Paris. Good afternoon and welcome back to Good Day Paris. We're live from Paris, Tennessee, and we're your hosts, Terry Keel and Angie Dodd. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really enjoy coming to you each week and would love to hear from you. If there's something you'd like to have us uh, share or discuss or someone you'd like us to have on Good Day Paris, please send us an email or log on to gooddayparis.com and let us know who or what you'd like us to bring to you on the show because after all, we're here for you. Right. And we look forward to hearing from you. That's right, and I'd like to mention to our GoodDayParis.com site to like and subscribe. If you go to that site, like and subscribe, and please check out our past episodes of Good Day Paris while you're there. And we've been busy having fun for the last several months. Terry's been on her weight loss program. <laughs> and I'm still on it. Yes. I'm still, I'm still, still losing. Still doing good. Two more yeah. pounds down. Woohoo! Yeah, and your, your face, <laughs> I, I mean, you're just glowing. I, I'm Looking so happy. Thin. Yep. Yes, I'm proud of you. <laughs> and um, so every week's been exciting to see the changes she's going through and, mm -hmm. and the people that we have on the program. It's just all been great. So we love having you along with us. Tell your friends and let's have some fun. And yes, right. it's also exciting. And today we have joining us a famous entertainer, Killer Bees. Killer Bees. Yes. This is really, he is so famous. He really is. He's amazing too. Yeah, I'm looking Very so forward funny. to it. I, I, talking to him just a little bit uh, earlier, I literally, my, my, my TMJ was killing me. I'd been <laughs> smiling for so much. It's just laughing. But anyway. That's a good problem I to know have. it. It is. Yeah. <laughs> so we're looking forward to hearing from him. And um, he's going to have you laughing too. We have a fantastic day planned for you. So. Yes. Um, but before we get started today, I wanted to share just a little bit from the Bible study that I've been doing. Yeah, yeah. So, and um, that was, uh, you were talking about being used by God. Yes. Yeah, tell us about that. Ange, I love these these little chats with you. <laughs> well, it's, uh, you know, that there is a desire in my heart. There's always... Um, this nagging, this gnawing there to be used by God. And uh, no matter where I am in life, I'm so thankful that the Holy Spirit is always speaking to me yeah. and um, that God is always drawing me and He's always correcting me because, you know, you've heard of the, the illustration of how um, you don't think that you're off track very much at all <laughs> whenever you um, have two paral parallel lines going together. Mm -hmm. But... It, if you just veer off just a little, right where you started to veer off, it doesn't seem like it's very far right. at all. But if you keep going, it gets longer, I mean, wider farther. and wider and yeah. farther from yeah. the target. And it But it, it happens um, way quicker than you would think. Yes. And uh, it just takes taking your eyes off the target just for a little bit. It's the truth. And, yeah. Just but the, just the like thing that. is, we all... Or there we all do that and mm -hmm. scripture addresses it over and over and over again mm -hmm. and um, so the scripture that uh, really was speaking to me was um, from 2nd Chronicles seven fourteen, and it's a passage that everybody has heard a lot mm -hmm. if you go to church and have been brought up in church and read the Bible and mm -hmm. um, and it kind of goes along with what's going on in our nation right now with the revival that's sure happening does. in certain yes, places. And, wonderful and man, I, yes. I 
right now at our church, we're talking about the kingdom of God and being right. a part of the kingdom of God. And, right. Um, and service and ministry. Yeah. Right. Awesome. And just wanting to share the Lord with others and just mm -hmm. say, come and see. Mm -hmm. Not come and see my church. Not come and see the right. music, not right. come and see the preaching, but come and see Jesus. Right. And we can and offer what he's that. Doing. Yeah, yeah, what Jesus is doing. Right. And we can offer that every day. Sure. At work, at That's school, right. at the grocery, when you like you said, you sometimes you have a, a feeling that somebody you, you feel it in your spirit that maybe God is telling you to yeah. go say something to somebody right. or maybe even you notice something and you just pray for it. But mm -hmm. We don't have to invite people just to church. That's and right. That was a, a concept that took me a long time to because we are the church, <laughs> right? We invite people to Jesus. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but Second uh, Chronicles seven fourteen says, "If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then." Then, then. Will I hear from heaven and forgive their sin and heal their land? That's right. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, if we all did that, then our full land would where we live would be healed. No <laughs> doubt about be. it. If, if. Right. That, that big two-letter word, uh, you know, two-letter word. If. Right. If. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> even if. Everybody doesn't do that. We are able to do what we know is right in our own world. And maybe us doing what we feel led to do in our personal life can at least heal the land of our family. Right. Mm -hmm. Heal the land Start of our home. work. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And heal the land of our city. Mm -hmm. uh, our neighborhood. You know, what about your neighborhood where you live? Right. What kind of influence, why has God put us where we are in our job, in right. our family, mm -hmm. in our neighborhood, in our city? We That's all right. have a purpose. That's right. And so if, if you don't remember it, 2 Chronicles 7, 14, mm -hmm. study that verse, pray over it. Ask God to show you that how you should humble yourself. But just going to him and asking is humbling yourself to start with. Right, and it starts with us, one-on-one, -on -one, yes. not pointing fingers, not saying if you do this, it's if we will do this. Right, yeah, Terry, if you so, get your life straight, then right. this town would and be better. everybody be okay. Right, right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, you know, I would own that, but, <laughs> but I, I know God wants each and every one of us to do that um, individually, and not because, you know, we're being forced to do it, but because we want to see a true change. And that's how it's going to happen. Right. So, mm -hmm. all right. Okay. Well, thank you. And uh, thanks for sharing that. I, like I said, I, I, I love you bringing forth all this. It's just really encouraging. And, and that's what we're trying to do is really encourage people. Yes, and, and I, thank thank the Lord. I, I feel like he, he brings to us what we need to share. So I hope and pray that it is encouraging to somebody. That's right. And it is. Mm -hmm. I know it is because you just encouraged me. All right. <laughs> See, that's good. <laughs> so we do have good stuff to know. Mm -hmm. We want to talk a little bit about that tonight. And our producer, Kevin, has put in his two cents. And his two cents is about what the day is. Well, today is National Spray Tanning Day. <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever had a spray tan, but it is National Spray Tanning Day. And also National Curl Day. Now, is that curl. like curls in your hair? Or, or curls uh, the on exercise? the water? Curls in your hair? hair okay, curl. well, I have a curler, yes. and I didn't curl my hair. <laughs> so if you have curly hair, today is your day. Today is your day. You can <laughs> shine like the uh, noonday sun. let it go. <laughs> it's also National Panda Day. Aww. Aww. <laughs> we love pandas. That's right. <laughs> and it's also National Farm Rescuer Day. So that honors those who help farmers in need. And boy, the farmers today are in need of help. That's for sure. Yeah. They're overwhelmed. And uh, that is a hard job. Bravo to all you farmers. Thank you for doing what you right. do. 
<laughs> that's that's a ministry right there, isn't it? Right, to, and that to the is world. <laughs> interesting. Just, yes, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but you know my yeah. um, B and G equipment just went up in flames, oh, and w we're still just praying down for and, the dog. We need to find the dog. Right, but oh. there's a lot of farmers who rely on our mm -hmm. local farm dealerships right. to provide what they need. That that's you know right. your tractor is not working, you need a part. That's right. So now. <laughs> um, I. We do. We need to keep all of them in prayer. And there's yes, families, yes. you know, that they rely yes. on that to pay Wonderful their bills. That's people. their job. And right. You know, you hate when something like that happens. But yes, yes. So yeah, just National lift it up in prayer. Farm Rescuer Day. <laughs> yes. All right. And then one of my favorites, National Artichoke Hearts Day. I love artichoke hearts. Not, Those are so good. Artichoke hearts. I know. <laughs> and when we go to the family table, I love how mm. Chef Andy makes those artichoke hearts. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. <laughs> we love them. National Everything You Do Is Right Day. Hmm. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, I don't know about that. So, uh, on a positive note, though, that reminds us uh, that everything will be all right eventually. That's right. right. Romans 8, 28. Um, that's all right. things work together, together for, good, for good for those, for those who love, love the Lord, Lord and are called according to His purpose. There you go. So, yes. we'll let it apply to that. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <sighs> and National Freedom of Information Day. Yeah, very that important. one's very important, yeah. super important. Yes. <laughs> and I'm going to read some, some uh, birthdays as well. So we want to, um, we want to uh, just mention that James Madison's birthday, who uh, is today the father of the Constitution and fourth president of the United States of America, wow. who notably authored the United States Bill of Rights. So there you have it. Today's yes. his birthday. Honor him. Happy yes. birthday. Also, Jerry Lewis. A lot of people will remember Jerry Lewis, mm -hmm. not the younger folks, but some of the older people. Yeah. He was great. Uh, Wolfgang Van Halen. I love that name. <laughs> Wolfgang He's a great name. Van Halen. <laughs> he was the son of Eddie Van Halen. It is, sorry. <laughs> is. Yes. Wolfgang. I don't know. That's right. Mm -hmm. Wolfgang. That's a cool name. I let, I. I named my tiny little dog Tucker that for Kevin because he's so tiny, the only thing big about him is his name, Wolfgang Tucker. That's great. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> he's still only about four pounds, but he's got a big name. <laughs> yes, yes. And speaking of two cents from our producer, I'm sure oh, these yeah. are more oh, than two cents. Oh, yes, but yes, yes. We have Look cups at that. with our names on them. Yes. <laughs> Good day, Paris. I know it. I love it. I love it. These and are it's excellent. funny because we just said last week we needed pretty <laughs> we need coffee cups on the table, and he said, "And Shazam, you, there they are." <laughs> <laughs> he already had them in the mail, yeah, no less. So that was exactly. pretty cool. That's yeah. Cool. So thank you, Mr. Producer. Yes. <laughs> we love our cups. So some good stuff to know. Protect yourself from dangerous products. Product recalls can be a matter of life and death. And recently, a couple uh, episodes ago, we shared about the eye drops that were uh, actually yes. blinding people and actually did kill a few people. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, that was something that uh, the recall went out, but you wonder if somebody didn't see that, it's still out there. Right. You know, if, if the uh, owner of a store or who's ever, you know, in charge doesn't pull that product, mm -hmm. it's still being sold. And, and so these are good things to know. You need to know what's being recalled. Unsafe products can burn, poison, maim, electrocute you, or like I said, even kill you. But here's the good news. Recall remedies are free. So get alerts to all recalls at recalls with an S dot gov, recalls.gov. Mm. This will lead you to government offices that can link you to all known recalls. So be careful with secondhand buys too, because you might see something advertised for really cheap, that's, you know, really an expensive product. And is it a deal? You know, mm. is it really a deal? So before right. you spend a lot of money, make sure that that hasn't been recalled so that you're not paying for somebody to just get rid of something that right. is really bad for you. 
And uh, check car recalls as well. Those have been like, gosh, there's been so many of them. I'm actually kind of surprised at how many uh, recalls go out and for all the different reasons in cars today. Mm -hmm. But if uh, fixes are made available for you, please get that done or get rid of that car, you know, literally, yeah. because the airbags can just go off all of a sudden in mm -hmm. some of these cars. I'm like, oh my gosh, can you even imagine? <laughs> no, no. Oh my gosh. Praise so, the Lord, I have not experienced an airbag. I know. Yeah. Me, me neither. Thank you, God. <laughs> and check food items that have been recalled as well. Make sure you throw them out. Don't feed them to the dogs, you know, or throw them out for uh, other animals to get to. Throw them out. Report problems if you think something of yours is unsafe as well. Raise your voice and help others by contacting foodsafety.gov or nhtsa.gov. This is the number one reason for recalls. Informed people, you know, sharing their information. Right. Uh, c consumers just like me and you, if something is, is bad, and, and I will say this, I did buy some um, uh, cat food one mm -hmm. day, and it was completely and totally sealed for the kitty, but when I opened it, it had maggots, living maggots in it. <gasps> yeah. And I didn't have my glasses on, and I put it down, and the cat looked at it, and she backed up and looked at me like, what the heck? No, seriously. And I was like, is that moving? Oh, my goodness. And I took it and, and you know, flushed it down the toilet. I was like, you got to be kidding me. Oh, so, no yes, you know, and I told them at the store. So, uh, you know, you be the one, you know, to ring the bell. Stay safe out there and mm. help one another by being the responsible one to sound an alarm when you see something that's wrong or unsafe. Right. So thank you for listening to that. But that's, you know, yeah. really important as far as I'm concerned. Good and stuff you know, to know. It is good stuff to know. And mm -hmm. I'm going to say this because I've heard it twice this week. So oh, okay. maybe I need to share it. But okay. I, everybody else might already know this, but I heard that uh, xylitol that your dogs can't eat it and it's in sugar-free gum it's in oh, sugar-free yes, foods yes, and all uh -huh. this but that it will um, your dog yes. would die if they ate I it. I so. did know that because many years ago being in dentistry mm -hmm. you know I knew xylitol was bad for all animals not just dogs but yeah. all animals and um, and somebody told me that if you buy juicy fruit gum uh -huh. and cut it into little pieces and put it in your yard in the holes where those little uh, moles come up, they can't digest it and they die. <gasps> now that's not wow. a good thing, maybe, but I mean, if you're trying to get rid of moles, but you know, we, but we exactly. don't support we, animal we cruelty, don't. but I did hear that. Yeah. So if it would, if juicy fruit would kill a mole, what else would it kill? Don't right. give it to your dog. Yeah. Be careful. Don't give gum and different things with those sweeteners in it to your animals. Yeah. So, or Jack Daniels, yeah, don't give that to them either. <laughs> or That's that new moonshine random. that we're, we're going to yeah, be talking about moonshine. in a little bit. That's yeah. right. <laughs> There's some really good stuff coming on uh, down the pike here. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so, anyhow, uh, we are going to read the bio interview now. Yes. yes. And just going to do that for us because this guest of ours is truly a gem. And we're hoping that you'll all be available to come and see him when he comes into town very soon. Yes. Take it away. <laughs> all right. So, celebrating his seventh season on Discovery Channel's hit series, Moonshiners, comedian Killer Bees is touring the nation when not filming. With well over three decades of comedy clubs and theaters, television and radio, Killer Bees is legendary in the comedy industry. Bees continues to make regular stops with his family-friendly show to the Grand Ole Opry stage. Tickets and information for his tour are available at www.killerbees.com. Killer Bees, B-E-A-Z, yes. has his own unique brand of hard-hitting, laugh-out-loud, laugh-a-lot, high-proof, which is funny. Yeah, it is very yeah, high-proof. <laughs> high-energy, high everyman-style <laughs> comedy. With many thousands of radio, television, and stage appearances, Bees has been entertaining audiences worldwide, uh -huh. but his passion is his live stage performance. 
He is yes. an award-winning artist and has been signed with both Sony and Warner Brother Records and received reviews such as Rolling Stone Magazine and Entertainment yes. Today and yes. Showtime. So don't miss your opportunity to see the best buzz in town, <laughs> March the 24th at Crider Performing Arts. Also, see him on television, on Discovery. Right. On, yes, on the um, show Moonshiners. I know. And uh, let's see, because I lost my place. <laughs> and see his stage performance live. You'll be stung for life. Live show tickets and information are available at killerbees.com. So, Yay. so without further ado, we're going to get right into it with Killer Bees. <laughs> wow. We've got all kinds of stuff to talk about tonight. Oh, this so. is too much well, fun. I hope this. Yeah. Are, I hope y'all are doing good. I am having a ball. I'm having a rare week off tour. Oh. So I'm at home relaxing, chilling at the crib, as they say. <laughs> That's so, right. So, yeah, with your homie. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah. So the bees Got are in the crib. With, exactly, exactly. Uh, so uh, I'm coming to see y'all, coming to Paris, Tennessee, and that's going to be a hoot. Oh, I'm at yes. the, what is it, the Crowder Performing Arts Center? Crider, right. Crider, yes. Crider, yes. Crider that's right. That's I call right. it K-Pack. So, you know, there's a lot work. of crowders in Paris, so you can call it that too yeah, if you, you want can. to. So they might be ten anyhow. Yeah, yeah they are for me. So hey, <laughs> we'll, we'll have the crowders deal. come to the crowder. Well, How's that? We are so looking forward to that, and you can count on us being there. I'm going to try to find a front row seat. Yes, <laughs> and I'm, I'm with, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. This is going to be a lot of fun. We just a few weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago wrapped up uh, filming for this season of Moonshiners on Discovery Channel. Oh. So it's a great breather for me to get out of the woods, out of the holler, uh -huh. if you will. And, it, and I can't really tell y'all exactly the ins and outs of the show, but it is so funny. They send all these producers and stuff from New York City to come <laughs> down and film the uh, the. His hillbillies, if you will, right. who, by the way, are geniuses. But all these cats <laughs> from New York come down, and it is hilarious, y'all. They'll say stuff like, today we're going to film in the hollow. <laughs> like, no, 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 it's a holler. It's the yeah. holler. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, so it is a lot, a lot of fun. And uh, I just got to say, man, the people on that show, I'm the only guy that's not doesn't live up in the mountains, I guess. Oh. The uh, these quote unquote hill billies are so resourceful and just so <laughs> brilliant that it is amazing I the amount it. of chemistry it. and physics that goes into the and I quote distillation of non-taxable artisan spirits in a non-disclosed <laughs> location. <laughs> The, I'll drink these to that. guys are just so <laughs> smart and resourceful that uh, it's just it. a treat to be around them. How cool. Well, speaking about, um, you know, things that you uh, don't do, like you don't live up in the mountains, tell us a little bit about you and how you got involved in this much fun. Because oh, I'm alre you. already my cheeks are hurting from <laughs> laughing so much just talking to you. <laughs> well, I, I live in Mobile, Alabama. Oh, okay. Um, I don't live out. I live in a subdivision. You know, you know where they <laughs> throw the neighborhoods where they scrape every living thing off the earth. They cram twelve houses into a three house oh, spot. Right. That's right. where I live. And you know they have they have fancy names: Hounds Run, Falcons Crest, Eagles Landing. Oh, My yeah. subdivision is named Falling Values. So <laughs> listen, right. so, your neighborhood sounds like a soap opera from the eighties. Yeah. Oh, I'm telling you. Look, it, it's actually it's actually on the Alabama state map, like the big highway map, <laughs> our subdivision, y'all, of all things is listed on the map, but it's the Alabama map and they misspelled it. So oh, no. they spelled it floodplain. Oh, no. <laughs> floodplain. See what I did oh, there? Oh, dear. That's I funny. see it. <laughs> we got our eyes so, on you. That's right. <laughs> so March the 24th, now en route, to Paris, Tennessee, on the 22nd of March, I'll be making my 15th 
appearance at the Grand Ole Opry. Ooh, so that's wow. a lot of fun. That yeah. is awesome. Good for you. That Isn't is that so cool? cool? I tell you what, I'm a very, I have a very blessed life. So uh, <laughs> you're, you're going to be hard pressed to find somebody that's more appreciative or happier than I am. I get to make people laugh and smile for a living. Oh. I mean, that is just such an amazing thing. Way back in Otami days, I worked in a 911 ambulance. And oh, this dear. is the exact opposite emotional <laughs> content for a day at work. Right. So uh, wow. it, is, it is a blessing that the Lord has given me to be able to make people laugh and smile. And I take it very seriously. Aww. Believe it or not. <laughs> You're a blessing. I'm a You're such a stickler blessing. for perfection in my stage show. And I just think people will love it. I'm not an offensive act. Um, really? I'm just stupid enough <laughs> oh, Lord. That, it, that it's fun for people. So, um, so, have so you anyway, done this forever? People, have you done this for since you were little? 41 years. It's, dude, it's been my life's work. Gosh, it wow. absolutely is amazing to me. It keeps me young, you know, and <laughs> flex seal. I do spray down with flex seal every morning. So that kind of helps that. I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, where do you get that? During the summer, it's got that tan tint to it. So right, right. That's what all the smiling vibrant. does, doesn't it? Yeah, it works right. those good exactly. muscles. Keeps, keeps the wrinkles good. out. <laughs> so, um, we, um, Moonshiners, by the way, I got to plug that Discovery Channel Wednesday nights yes. at 7 o'clock okay. Central Time. So, okay. uh, so, we'll be on tomorrow night. And I just just a little hint uh, with the, some of the stuff I'm doing on this show. Willie Nelson's family is involved <gasps> coming up on Moonshiner. So nice. I can't really speak to anything else because it's like a gag order. We'll be right? watching. <laughs> <laughs> so, but that's what I get to do. I get to go out all over. We work from Miami to Anchorage. Wow. I mean, we are all over. Here's what I did. I married my agent. Oh, that my was smart. Wife, yeah, my <laughs> wife owns the company, runs the company that does all my bookings. So uh, so we get to do some really cool and fun stuff. Now, how long have y'all been married? Yeah. We have been married 32 years and have never had a knife fight. <laughs> that so, is awesome. No <laughs> knife fights. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> there, there was a hatchet one time, but it oh, yeah. came out of its little cover. Couple webs and chains. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It would, yeah. Yeah, it would, yeah, it was just to get your attention, not really to. Well, I mean, y'all could do a marriage conference at this point. It yeah, like. we should. got it together. Crack each other up. <laughs> oh yeah, we should do that. So now, what about? <laughs> Kids and grandkids. Tell us about that. Yeah. We don't have any grandkids yet. We have two sons that grew up on tour. I mean, they oh, wow. they grew up going coast to coast with us. And to this day, they are so unaware of how well-traveled they are and how <laughs> unique an experience it is because that's all they knew, you know. Yeah. I mean, they, they literally said stuff like, Oh, I don't want to go to Alaska again. Oh, All you do Lord. is look at stuff. Like, oh, my God. Oh, bless the their Lord. hearts. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my gosh. So, yeah, bless their hearts. <laughs> but they're very talented young men. And um, I'm going to have to say, I'm going to go out on a limb and say very talented and handsome. Aww. I'm just going to throw that part in there. That's so, a good uh, daddy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I say that about my sons all the time. <laughs> gotcha. gotcha. And all my grandkids and great-grandkids. <laughs> well, there's that. There's that. <laughs> there is that. So I'm just having a ball, man, and I'm looking forward to getting over there. So um, um, everybody stay safe. Killerbees.com. That's spelled B E A Z. Right. Has information on ticket sales, and uh, it is it's a fun show. It is a fun show. So, have you been to Paris before then? I have not. I've been to Jackson, Tennessee, and I've yeah, been to been. some other some some other uh, towns in that area. Not to Paris, but I do know when I went to Jackson, Tennessee, it changed. There were so many years that it was such a great, great. Um, gig that I did there, and then they put in a traffic circle. 
Whole oh. town come to a standstill. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they got so mellowed out. Lady, and this is a quote from a lady that I know from Jackson, Tennessee. Couldn't nobody get nowhere. Oh, dear God. Yeah, too much information there. Right. But, you know, <laughs> but you have been literally everywhere. And, I mean, that is so amazing. You're so famous. And you're so funny. I just, I'm so looking forward to you being here. You've been um, on in the Rolling Stone magazine. I mean, come on. Correct. Now, right. that's, Correct. that's going somewhere, man. I was, I was in the first ever comedy issue that had David Letterman and Johnny oh Carson on the gosh. cover. Wow. Oh my so, goodness. So I have been so, so blessed. And uh, uh, you have. And, and luckily this day and that day and age that it does not escape me that I have been <laughs> so, so blessed. Good. So I'm, yeah. I'm very protective and very thankful um, about getting to continue doing this because it's just so neat to cheer people up, just to make people smile and yeah. have stuff blow out of their face every night. <laughs> well, you're so good at it. You've also uh, been uh, Entertainment Today, Las Vegas. Um, that's crazy good stuff. I mean, yeah, I know it. it Showtime. Oh yeah, it's it's been amazing. It is really, uh, and I tell you this though. One of the funnest things, one of the most enjoyable is doing this moonshiner show. Oh, my god. That goodness. is crazy. I get recognized at Bucky's. <laughs> oh, wow. You're definitely famous then. Yeah. yeah I get, you got... I get recognized at Golden Corral. <laughs> that's saying Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's kind of... For a I guy mean, with my accent, that's pretty strong. If yeah, you that's can right. outdo Bucky, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's And big. I think Bucky recognizes my name. <laughs> I'm sure he does. I've been, to about, I've been to about seven of them, and he's always there. And I'm like, Bucky, it's me. And he's like, and that means, hey, I recognize you. Is that I what think, that means? I don't speak fluent, fluent Bucky, but I'm starting to get a few words here and there. So. There you go. Yeah, you can teach him a few things, I'm sure. But Bucky's a busy beaver. I so. think busy he beaver. is. Yes, he is. Oh, so, my goodness. So we're hoping for good weather. Yeah, we need good weather. We don't need a yes. freak snowstorm or a bad no. windstorm. Oh, please mm. don't even say it out That's loud. That's right. Tennessee is so strange. You can have the 80s one day and the 20s the next. I'm it's the truth. thoroughly disappointed. <laughs> I want it to be sunshine and roses all the time, you know. I've no, had I enough know. of this I, winter. I lived in Cheatham County, Tennessee, outside of mm. Nashville. Oh, back yeah. there in the late 80s when I was doing TNN and CMT and all that kind of stuff. Oh, so, wow. Uh, love, love Tennessee. Beautiful, beautiful state. And it has really, uh, um, really been great to me. That's where I, where I really popped was when I went to Nashville way back in the 80s. Yes. So, uh, so well, I love Tennessee. I uh, heard that you were uh, a singer at one time. I, I want. I want. I'm not. I'm not a singer. And a player. I play, I, I yeah. play guitar. Just guitar. And, uh, okay. I'm, I'm a hobbyist. Okay. At guitar playing, but I am on an album with the Leonard Skinner band. Get out! I, no way. <laughs> what? I was with I was with Sony Records <laughs> years mm -hmm. and years ago, and they want and they put together a compilation album about NASCAR racing tunes. Ooh, and they NASCAR wanted racing. Me to do a, yeah, and wow. so they wanted me to do a song on there, and I don't. I, I go, well, I don't even sing. They go, well, just come up with a funny song and j just say stuff, uh, and you know. So I go, okay, you know. <laughs> National record release, I might as well. Oh so at the, at the time, I was hanging out with the Leonard Skinner band. They were oh buddies dear. of mine. So I got with with Ed King, the guitar player that co-wrote Sweet Home Alabama. Oh, my God. When gosh. he was in Skinner, and we wrote a song for that album. And while we were doing that, the, the Skinner band decided they wanted to be on that record. So they asked me, they... <laughs> Told me that if I would get them a track on the record, they would be my band when we cut oh, wow. my track. So I went wow. to the head guy at Sony, yeah, and I, and I go, look, man, I go, if you'll, uh, 
put Skinner on with a track, uh, they'll be my band. And they went done just like that. Yeah. So, so it was really, really cool, man. That was a fun, fun thing. So they were working for you. you yeah, what's the name of this up. song? What is this? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're good kids. They're really good kids. <laughs> good kids. What is yeah. the name of this song? Yeah. Uh, the name of that, I think Save Up was what we called that one. Okay. But it's a it's a cool. The name of the album was Hotter Than Asphalt, and Hank <laughs> Jr. was on the oh album. Oh my and gosh, and Hank Wayland Jr. Jennings. One of my oh, yeah, favorites. There was a lot of, yeah, I was the only <laughs> unknown person on there, so he lives in but Paris. But it's still cool. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. Somewhere. So, uh, so that was cool. <laughs> and, oh, and an interesting story about my Skinner buddy Ed King. Yeah. Um, he signed one of my guitars for me. Yeah, we got. He's played the blues. Was what he wrote on it. He signed my guitar. So ten years later, he had a heart transplant. Ooh. So mm. I took the guitar back to him and had him sign it again. Oh. So he signed this particular guitar with two different hearts in his wow. chest. And so I've never, never named a guitar before. And you're supposed to name them a girl's name. But I named <laughs> that guitar King of Hearts because oh. Ed King signed it with two different hearts in his chest. Oh, and that's so a great then, story. That was know, a good story. Fast forward 20 years past that, he actually appeared with me on the TV show Moonshiners oh, wow. on oh, the wow. first series that I was ever on that show. Oh, So wow. it's cool how we got to do things and then come back around Full and, and do another project together mm -hmm. before he passed away. So, oh, so that was that really cool. Neat. That was beyond cool. Thank so, you for sharing that. Moonshiners. Oh, you're, you're quite welcome. How many um, seasons are there of it? Is this We're good? in season 12 now. Oh, wow. And it is my seventh season. Okay. Wow. So, uh, That's excellent. Yeah, so, oh, they taught me how to make moonshine and everything. <laughs> it's nuts. So we can binge and, watch this, and, right? Hey, did correct. you know and I was I, an official I, taster? <laughs> there you, yes. And I, and I have my own moonshine that is on the market. It is <gasps> Killer Bee's Appalachian Ambrosia. It is. I'm shooting for the female demographic. It tastes <laughs> like it. It sort of tastes like you know the old ice cream that was the the orange sherbet and the vanilla. Uh huh. The, the mm -hmm. old dream sickle. Uh -huh. Dream sickle. Yeah, that's yeah. what it kind of tastes like. Oh. So mm. we can do it, it's that. It's only six. <laughs> yeah, it's only sixty proof instead of ninety or a hundred, so it is more palatable. Okay. But it was <laughs> funny on the label. I have she shed approved. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and when I was sending it to the federal government to, for the licensing, I added makes 30% of husbands look hot again. <laughs> so, so hey, we don't the, have to worry about that. That's right. So, so the fed denied my license and scolded me and told me, you can't prove it makes 30% of husbands <laughs> look hotter. <laughs> We need a poll. We need to take a poll. Yeah, wow. So I had to I had to pull that line off the label and resubmit it to get oh. my license. Well, but what about it that? Is, uh, it's do what, dear? What about that song that says tequila makes my clothes fall off? I mean, could they prove that? Can you prove it? That's right. <laughs> you know what? They probably could prove it. Yeah. <laughs> I think there are probably depositions right now. There's probably somebody so. on the docket in the <laughs> tomorrow. Standing there well, naked. Your Honor, that tequila made my clothes fall off. I'm sure we've all been uh, there, sir. It was Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> right after all. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, we got to get a hold of some of that. I mean, seriously. Yes, I you do. Uh, there's a company <laughs> called Athens Distributing that is bringing it into uh, Middle Tennessee. Oh, so, great. Uh, so it's really, it's really a lot of fun having my picture on a moonshine <laughs> And uh, I've reached my, pastor, my life goal. <laughs> <laughs> my pastor is so proud. I'm oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and 
And I rub it into, well, I was at the distillery in North Carolina where they're making it. And when they do their little tastings, they use <laughs> communion cups. Oh. So there was a product that had 100 communion cups listed on the side. So I had a picture of that in front of the still and sent it to my pastor. So. That's right. And just in case my pastor is watching, you know, I'm just kidding. I don't drink that much. <laughs> Anymore. Anymore. Uh, yeah. As of just it's, right it's this my moment. Dad. This, the pastor's <laughs> her, my dad. So. It's her papa. <laughs> There's that. There is that. Yeah. It's a thing. <laughs> well, the Bible says don't be a drunk. That's so, right. Right. But I, I do want to know. Drunk. So yeah. are you saying that this is not in Tennessee yet? That it's just it's now coming. getting it, into it Middle is, Tennessee? It, and... It's in Tennessee. It's in oh. Knoxville. It's in Chattanooga. Okay. It's in Nashville. Oh. Okay. And so I don't know exactly where, you know, in your market. Well, Paris rocks. It, so it needs it to come here. <laughs> yeah. We, we, we'll have to tell our local yeah, we'll liquor get the store distributors. Your, yes. uh, but yeah, your local beverage. Uh, yes. Yeah. Well, Purveyor. Now, do you have a um, a uh, website or something so that we can go to it and remind you to send us info on that so we can go to our liquor yes. stores and ask for it? Yes. <laughs> yes. Killerbees.com. There you and go. Bees is spelled B-E-A-Z because we didn't know any better. Right. And also <laughs> uh, social media, Killer Bees. Killer Bees Comedy on Facebook. B-E-A-Z. Well, you I were grew up sharing. In Mississippi. I know Mississippi. I love Mississippi. That's a beautiful place too. Um, yes, you were it is. you were telling us earlier about a little story about how you got that name, and I would love for our viewers to hear that story. Yes. Oh yes. So yes. I grew up in Jackson, Mississippi, uh -huh. and uh, back in old timey days, y'all weren't even born yet, probably. I was a blues <laughs> guitar player. And so my name is Truett Beasley, and people call me B since I was a little bitty. You know, they'll abbreviate, abbreviate last names. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I would run out in front of whatever little garage band I was in and do my guitar stuff. And the people that knew me would go, that was killer, Bees. <laughs> and the people that didn't know me thought they were saying that was killer Bees on guitar. <laughs> so so yeah. that's kind of the stage name I had as a picker. So when I started doing stand-up comedy, the last weekend of June 1982, I just kept that stage name, Killer Bee's Best Buzz in Town. Oh, so that's how that happened. Like so yeah, that's cool. Yes, so cool. I want to hear, how did you start the stand-up comedy well, gig? How'd that all start? <laughs> well... First of all, I didn't do my homework growing up, so, <laughs> so, I, was, so I was open to suggestions, uh -huh. but the uh, Showtime Cable Network out of New York City was having their Funniest Person in America contest, where people, oh. where comics around the country would make a videotape, back then it was VHS, would make right. a videotape from their act Massive. and send it to New York. <laughs> Correct. So I submitted and actually was the, they chose a winner from each state as well as a national winner. I was in it when Ellen DeGeneres was in it. She was in Louisiana. Oh, I wow. was in Mississippi, but I was the first ever three time winner of wow. the Showtime Cable Network's uh, funniest person in America contest for the state of Mississippi. I was awesome. probably the only one that submitted a tape, but <laughs> having that credit, <laughs> yeah. but Dude. having that credit then allowed me to call the nearest comedy club to where I lived was in Birmingham, Alabama, a five hour drive away. There was no Ooh. comedy venue in the state of Mississippi. So I was able to call that comedy club and ask them if I could do open mic night. And when they heard that I had won these awards from Showtime, they had said, yeah, well, come on. So uh, by then I had done 311 performances wow. around Jackson, Mississippi and pool halls and country music clubs and stuff. And so by the time I did my first <laughs> open mic night. I was pretty good at controlling the room, and I did two of them, and the guy started booking me. And then wow. I spread from there to there. They would add more and more clubs. 
so forth and so on. Oh, isn't so that's that wonderful? How, that's how it started. Boy, you were just cut out for it. You were. It was like well, it was a gift God gave you, and you took off. And, and it and it <laughs> certainly is. I've I've been funny since I was a little baby. My first <laughs> memories, uh -oh. literally, my first memories as a child. I lived in a funeral home in Kosciuszko, Mississippi. My dad was a funeral embalmer, a funeral director, oh, wow. and embalmer. And this is my earliest memories as a toddler. I had the run of the place. And I remember seeing sad people come and go from where I lived. And I had no concept of funerals or, or life and death. Mm -hmm. But I learned way back then that I could do cute little silly stuff. And the crying people would stop crying and oh. come over and smile and oh, talk to me. Oh, gosh, I, think I already that, love and, you. Truth <laughs> and I think that that is what has helped fuel my compassion my entire life to make people laugh and smile. Oh, that's beautiful. I don't, I don't do good around stoic people because I think <laughs> we all need to start every day at least acting like we're in a good mood that we have hope that God gave us another day, you know, at least right. until 10, 30, 11, we might realize it's going to suck like yesterday. But, yeah. but literally that is my earliest memory was trying to make people cheerful. So, and that has stuck with me uh, my entire life. Oh, that is, thank that you is, for sharing that. Yeah, that's great. That was so oh, beautiful, well. you know. I love to hear stories like that, right from your heart, you know. Um, and, and it's so fitting because you do such a great job. You, just your regular conversation is, is just, <laughs> you know, overlapped with all this great stuff. And it's good and it's funny. You know, you make it so interesting. <laughs> so well, thank you. But I, I, I tell you what, if people ever find out I'm just like this anyway, <laughs> <laughs> It's just who you are. That's <laughs> hanging with you. Yeah, you, exactly. you inherited, <laughs> you inherited a funny bone. You inherited a burger, yeah. <laughs> right. You got well, man, the funny thank y'all so much. This has been a hoot. It is wonderful. Yeah, I, I wanted to point out um, that one of the first things that I naturally think of when I hear there's going to be a comedian, you think, okay, is this family friendly or is this adult? Right. And mm -hmm. so tell us a little bit about that. It, it it is family friendly, and I appreciate you asking about that. And I'm gonna I'm gonna say this, and, and obviously <laughs> this is my opinion. I believe the comedians that say if you're not offending people, you're not doing your job. I mm. think they are dead wrong. Yes, right. That's I 100 percent believe in my heart and conduct myself in a way that that show is it's about levity it's about bringing humor and ease to the people watching i don't do pointed material i don't tell people what they do wrong and it's not about my opinion and it's not my soapbox i'm there to perform a service because i have the responsibility to my skill level and my mm -hmm. and my gift so <laughs> Yeah. That's that. You, you're keeping it above the line. Yeah. I like I'm that. I'm above yeah. the snake line. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for being there. We appreciate that. <laughs> yes. And we're looking forward to seeing you on the yes. 24th. That's going to be great. I know. And I'm awesome. glad Me we've too, done this man. before this. Get it out there and let everybody hear you sharing your heart, share who you are. And hopefully a lot of people are going to turn out that night. Henry County supports so. the things that go on at the Crider. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everybody oh, yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a famous mm -hmm. place. So. It is, yes. Yeah, yeah. so that'll be a hoot. It'll that'll be, be a lot of fun to do it. <laughs> All right, well, you cool cats, I love y'all. Yes. You too. It's Thank been you. great to so meet you tonight. Thank you to see you tonight. Yeah. See you All soon. Right. Thank you so much. All right, All right. bye bye. <laughs> All right, so we're, this has been an awesome night, and we want to remind you to uh, go to GoodDayParis.com and like and subscribe so that uh, we can uh, have more views, and I don't know, I think that's supposed to do something really great it for does. It putting does. it out there, yeah, you it know? Does. Yeah, it helps us. And yeah. we feel like we have a lot to share on Good Day yeah, Paris yeah. about our town. And yeah, that's right, yes. we do. This is such a great town. Yeah. So we do want to share it, and we want people to know about Paris, Tennessee. Yes. So, yeah, like and subscribe. 
And right. <laughs> thank you all so much for being here tonight with us. We have had such a good time. And uh, I don't know, Ange, I guess that's it. Uh, we, yeah. we will uh, be here next week. Same yes. time, same place. Exactly. With and listen, we want to get you on our show, but yeah. it, uh, it let us know that you want to be on here and share what's going on. If you have an event coming up, then send us a message on Facebook yes. so that we can get you on here. And uh, so it's filling up. So we need you to get your place in the line, especially right. if we have an event coming up that you need to share before it happens. So, That's right. Yeah. So yeah, please reach out to us. We look forward to hearing from you. And uh, y'all have a good day, Paris. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye now.